What up, what up? Thanks for tuning in. I am the final boss. And we are going to go through some of my replays. So I went on a winning streak earlier, and after the new update, I'm like, hmm, how are we going to do this? So we have a trifecta deck, which is one of the most popular games used up in the higher level gameplay. Uh, I'm a higher level gamer, um, but also I was used to be a lower level gamer, and I was level 9. That made it almost up to 3,800 trophies um, with the level 6 hog. Uh, Hog's my favorite card. Uh, Hog's a lot of a lot of people's favorite cards. Uh, it's definitely not the Moyer. <laughs> but the mortar is back guys so I figured everybody was gonna be using Pekka Double Prince because it's an old favorite uh, I used to play it uh, it's a really fun deck but guess what my epics are not maxed out and that's who I'm playing are maxed out people because that's the level of gameplay I am um, earlier I was global top 200 player uh, and I, I plan on staying there I go in and out the, the competition is really hard you really gotta stay at it um, throughout the week but uh, I end up being um, one of the top tier players in the game um, but I wanted to talk to you about this deck because it also works on the lower level cards uh, one of my buddies is also uh, was a level 11 and I was number level 11 and we were the highest players in the world that were level 11s and he was using poison freeze I'm like man why hasn't anybody ever thought about that this is like two of one of the best cards in the game so I made it work with the trifecta deck, and I'm like, well, if we're going to have to do that, we're going to have to use that. And that's what made me really good was using the freeze. Hog freeze cheese, you heard about it. It's a great deck. Anyway, we're going to jump into a replay. Uh, Miner Miner is one of the top cards right now. Awesome card, even at a level one. Uh, and I'm just going to walk you guys kind of through it. Um, turn down some of that gameplay there. Uh, one of my favorite starting hands, and sometimes the game is actually, you know, based off of what your starting hand is. Here I got a pump. So what do you think I'm going to do? I can't wait to drop the pump, but I want to wait to see what he has to do because sometimes you drop the pump and you get owned. And sometimes that's what I do. If I get if I get a Valkyrie push, so here I'm thinking that he was going to drop that and he was going to put it on the other side. Um, and, and like a dum-dum, he puts it right in the middle. I don't know why he put it in the middle because it targets both the towers and he barely got any hits on me. But here I got a Valkyrie. And I got multiple options here. And what do you know? I am getting so much value here <laughs> it is insane uh that tower is going to go down guys I, but i got a pump i got archers and i got a val uh and i got the barbs how much is that five six seven eight plus another five that's 13 13 plus tower damage was what that poison was hitting and that's what you're trying to do there is to get some serious value so i thought he was like well all right, I'm going to get him. I got to get him because he put his pump down. Because that's a great trade. Three for five. So I'm thinking that he's going to go for my pump here. Well, he was. And that's how you counter the miner is you put down some cheap things there. And you know he's going to come after your pump. Because it's a three to five trade and it gives you a positive elixir trade, which makes it awesome. I mean, you're going to win the game if you buy the elixir. So here I'm sitting at a ton of elixir. He doesn't have much of anything, and it's barely even touched my base. So that is one of the greatest pushes in the game is the Valkyrie in front of the Hog. Um, you should look up Piggy Pushing, uh, and, and that's kind of a Piggy Push, uh, but not really. That's really just shoving the pig down the middle. That's a, We'll call that one the, the pig in the blanket. I don't know. Pig, pig down the lane. I don't, I don't know what you want to call it. You can call it anything you want to. Put it in the comments below what you want to call it. <laughs> I'm sure you guys are going to have something awesome for it. Um, so I, I went on a serious winning streak here with this deck. I think I can't remember how I won. I won at least like six or seven, eight maybe. Uh, I didn't play a lot, but I'm a streamer on Camcord. Um, so I, I was like, okay, well, these games went really well. I'm not sure how I'm going to do this. So now we got two Valkyries, guys. And you know what you're all thinking? When, you, when, you're, when you're sitting here thinking about things like this, you're like, oh, I can't wait to get another Valkyrie. We're going to have a three Musketeers. But it costs a little bit more. But hey, wouldn't it be fun? I'm like, hurry. What do I put down? Of course. Put down the Valkyrie. What else do I need to put down here? Another Musketeer. It's three Musketeers. Hey. And at this point, he's given up. He's got the three Musketeers and the Valkyrie's tanking. And I'm just going in for the kill. So guys, this is not a nutshell. Not all the games are this easy. But I outplayed him. I outplayed him. And he made some bad decisions. Sometimes when you're playing against a very good opponent, you make one bad decision and you are done. It's you're so done. Um, and that's and that's one of them. So, um, 
earlier we were playing in a tournament and but we're going back to uh, we're going back to our games here um, as you can see this deck worked very very well for me um, yeah I I was in a this was a some people kept accepting the wrong matches those were not official losses but people kept playing the wrong matches I'm not gonna play you because you took some someone's match and you're a jerk face don't take other people's matches when someone's got name on them don't be that guy and you know what when I stream I get a lot of people that come in there and want to play me and I'm like okay I get it you can play me but you can wait your turn when I told someone I'm gonna do it it's very aggravating so I'm gonna take a loss on it I'm not gonna play you because you know what I got something better to do and you can wait your turn um, it, I mean that's just how life is you know what I mean just don't don't go in there and snake somebody's lane you know it's kind of like skateboarding you know you're about to drop in and then somebody just drops in in front of you or you know a, in a biker or something like that the bikers used to have such the worst names or even worse a rollerblader if you're a rollerblader I'm so sorry but I'm still gonna laugh um, I don't know if those jokes are so relevant anymore do people even rollerblade anymore you can drop that down in the comment section too I don't think they do maybe in California or something like that but hey whatever um, so we dropped the Valkyrie down just to get some damage there you got that coming on the Valkyrie's a tank the Valkyrie's good. Valkyrie's so awesome. Instead of doing a push, push here, uh, I know he's a high level player. Um, I'm gonna go on ahead and drop that uh, that pump and get there and get the value. That's that's one of the reasons I have the poison is because of that. Uh, a lot of people have princesses, of course, and as you see, you do not need a legendary in here to take this down. Now this match was very intense, guys. This guy has, I think, what I do believe is dang near close to having. Uh, Max Truce. That was a level 11 mini P.E.K.K.A. Um, and I could barely was able to get that cannon down, as you saw. And I was trying to throw some gobs. I was trying to do everything I could. But as you know, it's a little bit of a spoiler. We know I'm going to win here, but you're questioning, like, oh my god, how are you going to win? Uh, I'm getting completely dominated. Well, I thought I made a mistake. I thought I froze all the minions. But hey, you know what? Mistakes happen. I was trying to get the tower, and I was trying to get the three minions. Because um, I was trying to get it all. I got a little greedy, and that happens. And speaking of greedy, he comes in. Um, you know this guy. This guy does not have any pumps, and he's got a very aggressive deck. And aggression sometimes pays off, and also playing slow pays off. It's really, it's this game is like chess, guys. Um, you know, you got to know what they have in their deck, and after you've seen their whole entire cycle, you typically know what there's in their deck, unless they're holding the card back. Which, if you've ever seen any of the things that you know that you can. You can put, um, you can save a card for last. Sometimes that's your trump card. So we put down those elixirs. The the um, the goblins are two shots against a princess. So a lot of times you can take a little bit of damage if they put them down at the bridge. You can go on ahead and drop the goblins there, and then send them on down the way. They're going to take a shot and then stab them. That works 95% of the time. I've seen it where it doesn't. So we're just putting the cannon down there and distract. He freezes me. I know the freeze is going on, but we put the Valkyrie there, so we got some chip damage. He uses up his zap so now we're putting together a big push here but while we're taking that out we still got to take down this lane and what do you know I have no idea what that guy was doing there but I knew he was gonna drop a P.E.K.K.A. so I just kind of timed it correctly wait for you know a quarter of his life to go down and I put and if you check out where my cannon placement is I put it outside the freeze zone um, so I got a pretty hefty push here and of course what do I do and what does he do we freeze. Um, he puts down a P.E.K.K.A. Easily takes that down. It's okay. I did a little chip damage. Now we're about equal, guys. This guy was dominating me. Go. He has a level 11 hog. That does massive damage. He super delayed zap. Mistakes were made on his part. But that's how you win on these, some of these games here. Uh, I got the freeze coming up. We're going to refreeze. And that was actually a really slick move. I think we're going to get an extra hit in here with the hog. And that's going to put it down. That's pretty much going to wrap the game up. Just had to play some quick defense. Uh, he used his freeze already, so I put the cannon a little bit closer. But that's typically the kill zone of where you want to put the cannon at um, against a guy like this. He doesn't have a musketeer, which a lot of people like to put the musketeer on the other side of the lane. Uh, but that was a terrible freeze on his side, so we're going to capitalize. That mini P.E.K.K.A. got a whack in. And what the heck just happened there? Wow. Wow. Was that one of those super long-range P.E.K.K.A. hits? That wasn't crazy, crazy, crazy. But Poison went ahead and took it off. 
Um, that poison's great value, guys. I'm taking and chipping away. Plus, a lot of people put down pumps, so that's another reason why you put it on there. And a lot of the high-level players, what they do is they have some kind of method, some way or another, to take out your pump. And it's like whenever I run a deck that's not doing there, I'm like, all right, I'm gonna put my pump down. And like, okay, here comes, here comes the lightning. Here comes something. They're zapping it, and they're getting like my musketeer. They're getting so much value. A musketeer, if they lightning a musketeer and a pump, guess what? I just lost freaking nine elixir. Plus, he got hit on my uh, on my uh, on my tower. He he just he just nailed it. Um, so we're gonna go through one more replay here. Uh, this was this was also a very good match. These are against um, very good people, guys. These are top tier people. If you can look at the trophies, very very high. Um, 3,700, and it's the season just reset, so that's what I was saying. I'm, I was top 200 in the world when when I ended the stream today. Um, so let me go on ahead, and this will be the last one. And as I was saying, I camp, uh, I'm over on Camcord. I just became an official partner today. I got over 2,000 follows. Um, it's really awesome. I'm in a clan called the um, I'm in a clan called the Core, uh, and we are typically in the top 10 in the United States. So uh, sometimes in top five or six is where we normally hold it. Um, but we also have a lot of feeder clans. So if you guys are looking for a clan to join, come check us out. Come holler at us. Come come see me over on the stream. Uh, we'll send you where you want to go. Uh, we'll help you out too. Um, but my whole whole goal here of making videos is to help other people out. Um, and this is a new deck that not everybody's using right now, but things are changing right now. And that freeze is just really going to really, really, really help out against the uh, P.E.K.K.A. Double Prince, which I do believe I had some earlier, but I lost the video because I played a lot of games. I played a lot of games, guys. I probably played over 5,000 games of uh, Clash Royale. I, I kind of know the run of the mill of how things are going to go. And you know what? I have a lot of strategies that work very well that a lot of people also know. But it, it sometimes just because you watch a video is not going to give you, you know, the information that you need to know. You got to play the games. People are like, hey, what deck's going to get me to legendary? Well, you know what? It's not just deck because a lot of decks can get you to legendary. It's knowing a deck, knowing how to use stuff, how to counter things. My girlfriend always asks me these things all the time. She's like, she's like, well, what deck's going to what get decks going to make me better? And I'm like, well, girl, you got to understand. You got to know how to what counters what. You know, you don't arrow archers cuz it doesn't kill them. And you know, she stopped doing that, thank God. Uh <laughs> and you know, you don't put down you got to know what beats other things. And the only way you're going to really learn that is from actually playing. So get out there and play. Don't be afraid to play. Hit that battle button even if your chest slots are full. And you know what? Just get out there and have fun and try lots of new decks until you find something you like. You know, some of my favorite cards. Someone asked me, "Hey boss, what is your favorite card?" Uh, I love the hog, but you know what? I also like playing minor. I like playing poison. It's so much fun. Freeze is one of my favorite cards. That's why it's in the deck. I love the goblins. All the goblins are great. Um, you know, I, I, I'm not a big fan on this big, huge elixir decks because I like fast and speedy gameplay. That's really exciting and fun. Uh, but, you know, I, that's, that's, that's it. And you don't need to have legendaries to win, guys. There's no legendaries in here. Um, and, and when I first got uh, some very high level cards from uh, some very nice people that donated, uh, I was playing with all commons and I was taking down level 13s with max cards, max legendaries with level 13 commons as a level uh, as a level 11. I also had level 12s, guys. I've always been able to consistently beat people that are two levels higher than me by understanding how the game works, what counters. What, what are they using? I remember what they're using, and I remember what their cycles are, too. So this is this game's a lot like gambling sometimes. I swear it. Uh, I, lo I love to play poker. Uh, it's one of, one of my favorite games, guys. Um, but you know what? you got to know what your opponent's going to do. You know what? If he's dropped barbs next to the tower, guess what? And you got a fireball, and he's done it two or three times? Well, go on ahead and throw that fireball out, out there. And if it works and he drops them as soon as it got in it, you feel like a genius. You feel like an absolute genius. But you know what? We all lose games, guys. We all lose games. There's not one player out there in the world that's going to win every single one of their games. So don't get discouraged. And if it's not working and you're going on a bad losing streak, switch it up. Go go on a troll deck. Go make something crazy. Go have fun, guys. This game is about having fun. 
And you know what? It's not always about winning, but you know what? When you do start to figure everything out and start getting better, that's when everything clicks and you're like, oh, okay, well, I really like doing this. Like putting the little little speedy stab gobs behind the Valkyrie and sh so they just start shooting down the lane. And then they are sitting there. She's spinning on it and the ga gobs are sitting there knife, knife, knifing. And, you know, it's – and then you're laughing and having a good time because you picked up a trip from watching one of my videos or you saw the Valkyrie push with the hogs or, you know, you've seen some other YouTuber or somebody else do it. But anyway, come stop by my uh, stream over on Camcord. I'm the final boss, and it's the same in the Camcord. Thank you guys so much. Have a wonderful evening.